Listen, let's be real. You're probably here because you want to make some money. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to want to make money. And one of the best ways to do that is retail arbitrage. What is retail arbitrage? Well, it's buying things from stores like Walmart, Target, and then selling them online for their market value. You're getting things to people who want them efficiently and you're being rewarded for it. Consider yourself an on-demand personal shopper who charges the going rate. That's retail arbitrage. And this video is some predictions I have for Q4. That's the holiday season, friends, 2021. Let's get into it. But before we get started, please like the video, subscribe, and comment on my hat. Leave a really, you know, roast me. Roast my hat. I look like an Indiana Jones wannabe, I know. I didn't choose this hat. The hat chose me. Just kidding. If I take it off, I look like someone you wouldn't trust. And so instead, I keep it on. Prediction number one is going to be that everything is going to be in demand. Every single thing is going to be in demand. Not literally everything, but stuff that gets imported from China, from places like that. It has to go in ships and containers and ports and all of that stuff is uh, log jammed right now. And it's going to stay log jammed. And so we're going to have a combination of low supply, high demand, people being scared to go out of their houses, potential federal restrictions on mobility, where you can shop, lockdowns, all of that stuff. We have no clue. It's all crazy and unknown. And when you have equations like that, uh, the result is, well, volatile. There's going to be volatile pricing. It's going to be crazy. And you're going to see toys selling for a lot more than they did last year. You're going to see things being sold out constantly. You're going to see what I assume to be uh, a huge opportunity for resellers out there if you want to make some money i think this q4 as long as you're smart about it and not like scamming people or selling counterfeit goods or breaking your state's laws hope no states do this but who knows um then you're this is the time to do it and if you're watching this and you're one of those customers who's like but i don't think people should be allowed to make money off things that i like you need to grow up just because you want something does not mean you're entitled to it. Other people have just as much right to anything out there as you do. And if they're faster at getting it, if they have more money than you and they can buy more of it, you have to deal with that. Maybe instead of complaining about market dynamics that are dictated by everyone's wants and demands and priorities, you try and make some more money. You work harder, you work smarter. Watch this video, do what I'm saying, then you're the asshole profiting, not the asshole complaining. And which would you rather be? Prediction number three is I think we're going to see a lot more returns and refunds than normal. And so again, this is why prices are going to be so much more expensive because as third-party sellers, we're going to have to account for one, the people who are broke and buy too much stuff and return used items or opened items. And we're losing money right there. Two, remember how bad shipping was last year? The delays from the post office, the delays from UPS, the delays from FedEx or DHL or whoever the heck you used to move your parcels from point A to point B. That's all going to be there. I think just my personal guess so far, if you don't ship your packages, USPS, you know, priority mail, first class, whatever, by December 13th, I think you're risking them not being delivered at all. My next prediction is a depressing, sad one, and I'm sorry, but I really do believe this. I think we're going to see some states try and make retail arbitrage illegal. They're going to try and say, you can't sell things from stores online for more money, and I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's because they're morons who want to appease other morons, and they don't understand that retail arbitrage is the most efficient way of distributing products to who wants them the most. They don't get that. But I wouldn't doubt if like New York or Massachusetts or Illinois or states that have a history of controlling pricing on goods thinks that, oh, it's the next logical step for us to say how much you can sell these Legos for. I hope not. I think that eventually those rules will be overturned because that's like, in my opinion, unconstitutional to dictate the price on like non-essential goods. There's no 
precedent for that, but I still think that some states are gonna try it. Prediction number six is I think we're gonna see USPS push back their last day for quote unquote guaranteed Christmas delivery. Is it actually guaranteed? No, no it's not. But they say that, oh, do it by this day and probably it'll get there. It was like December 21st last year. Are you insane? There were Christmas packages that didn't get delivered until February. We're kind of predicting it's gonna be a shit show. But like I said earlier in this video, I think, maybe I didn't, who knows, what take is this? I don't know, uh -huh. December 13th. If you're shipping things first class mail or medium mail, I would not uh, advertise Christmas delivery if I couldn't send it out by December 13th. December 25th is on a, a Saturday. So, I mean, potentially, if you do two-day mail, you could mail it out on the 23rd and it'll get there. But is it really? No. There's no way. There's no way you can guarantee that. And do you want returns because your $2,000 PS5 bundle got delivered a day late? I think I might jump off a bridge. Prediction number eight, resellers are gonna make so much money. If you've been watching this video so far, that should be pretty freaking obvious to you, but it's like the perfect storm for making money. It's gonna be stressful. You're gonna have to really be on your P's and Q's, but if you are willing to invest thousands of dollars in Legos, I keep saying Legos because I know Legos will sell good. If you're willing to invest thousands of dollars in buying sports cards or Pokemon cards from now until the end of November, that's gonna pay off because they're not gonna be in stores. They're only gonna be online, and if you have a retail value in your cash of $10,000, I would be amazed in terms of these like high value, high demand products if you don't double or triple that. It's gonna be easy money, but it's gonna take, for retail arbitrage, it's gonna take capital up front. But I mean, the good news also is if you don't wanna do retail arbitrage, the used market is rising too. Anytime new products go up in value, used products go up in value. Uh, here's a graph right here of the price of Jurassic Park toys. And now you're saying, oh, there's hardly a trend there at all. Well, it's the middle of summer. And we're already seeing like a four to five to six dollar increase on these $25 toys. Used toys, I might add. If you don't see opportunity there, I don't think I can help you. Okay, so my ninth and 10th prediction, we're gonna mix into one because they make sense like that. They're, 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 it's nine, 10. Uh, time. Make sure if you're doing retail arbitrage that you're buying your stuff at the end of October because like I said earlier in the video, there's going to be a toy shortage. And so you're not gonna have the same luxuries you had two years ago where you could waltz into a Walmart and buy all the LOL surprise dolls. They're just not gonna be on the shelves. So now that we know, okay, start looking like middle October around Halloween time, what's gonna be like the hot stuff? Well, look for the stuff that's off the shelves or being sold obviously, but also what movies, what media things, what trends are being promoted for this fall. Season four of Stranger Things, there's a new Ghostbuster movie. The Disney movie is called Encanto. Uh, we've got Mandalorian season three coming out. Jurassic World Dominion is coming out in June 2022. But like I said, Jurassic Park toys are going up. We're seeing more kind of like tertiary Jurassic Park promotions going on. Uh, that kind of stuff, the pop culture stuff, the brands that we grew up with and love, they're making toys. Now don't buy everything. And if you see prices tank, don't panic. And I'm not guaranteeing you make this money. I'm just saying I have a hard time seeing a way that these Stranger Things toys, that these LOL surprise dolls, the little tykes toys are not selling for at least a modest profit. I mean, go back two years. How much was Millennial Monopoly selling for? How much were the LOL dolls selling for? Coco melons, stuff like that. There's everything. Pokemon cards. Look at football cards. Yesterday, I sold a blaster box of basketball cards for $170 that I bought for 20 bucks at Target four months ago. How insane is that? And if you don't think that's only gonna get worse by the time Christmas rolls around and the entire country is trying to buy gifts for people, you're out of your mind. All right, guys, that's the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you like ways to make money and you like this kind of stuff, 
Please, I encourage you, subscribe. See you guys later.